Over the past three weeks, women across Ireland have been told that they are dying and that some of them have a very short time to live. They are dying because of a completely avoidable scandal in our health service. 209 women, including 17 who have already died, received false negatives and later went on to develop cancer. Women have died because of the incompetence of the health service and the government. In March 2016, a memo was circulated in the HSE which warned that there could be negative media coverage following the issuing of letters to doctors regarding the cervical check scandal. The Department of Health has said that this memo was not brought to the attention of the Minister for Health, Simon Harris. Taoiseach Leo Varadkar, Minister for Health at the time of the writing of this memo, has said that he was never informed of any potential scandal. I'd like to remind you about the chain of accountability within the HSE because it is becoming completely obscured. There are three levels of accountability in Ireland's health service executive. On the third level, we have the Director General. Tony O'Brien was the Director General. You will now know that he has resigned. The Director General is accountable to the second level of accountability, which is the Directorate. There are a number of medical practitioners and professionals who sit on the Directorate. And finally, the Directorate is accountable to the final level of accountability, which is the Minister for Health at the Department of Health. This is the chain of accountability. So the Minister for Health is responsible and accountable for the activities of the Health Service Executive. So today, when Simon Horace tells us that he didn't know anything about this scandal, that women were dying in the HSE, under the watch of the HSE, that women would die under the watch of the HSE. People were losing their lives and Simon Harris would have us believe that he didn't know. Likewise, Taoiseach Leo Varadkar denying, even though he was the Minister for Health at the time, in 2016, the one with the top level of accountability, the one who had the most responsibility, is now telling us that he didn't know that women were dying under the watch of the health service executive. This is outrageous. We are being made fools of in this country. My question tonight is, where is the opposition in Dáil Éireann? Where are they? The job of the opposition parties in Dáil Éireann is to hold the government to account. We have just seen that the Minister for Health holds the most accountability within the HSE. Where is the opposition? Where is Fianna Fáil? Where are they? Where are the opposition parties who are doing their job and holding the government to account? Holding Simon Horace to account? Holding Leo Varadkar to account? Where are they? I'd also like to know where are the women in Dáil Éireann? There are 35 female TDs in Dáil Éireann today. Where are they? Where is the outrage on this issue? Where is Heather Humphreys and Josepha Madigan, ministers of state in this government? Where are they? Where is the outrage at this horrific scandal that is engulfing our health service? Or are we to believe that this scandal, like so many others before it, will be slowly slipped under the carpet of an inquiry never to be seen or heard of again? Is that what we are to have to believe and accept? It is completely 
unacceptable. I, for one, as a rational, intelligent human being, cannot believe otherwise that Simon Harris and Leo Varadkar knew exactly what was happening. It is the only rational thing to believe in the circumstances. And there must be accountability, and the government must be held to account in this country. If you feel as I do, I plead with you to share this video, to get this message out, to contact your local representative and demand accountability from our public representatives, from our government, who must take responsibility for this horrific scandal. My name is Josiah Burke. I'm a final year commerce student at Inuai Galway. Please share this video.